Yeah, yeah, we back, big baby. Yeah, for the double, for the uh, 2020, man. Yes, then for the 2020. Do you hear me, big baby? You thought we was done with it, man? You wasn't there. Volume 7, man. We back in they face, man. We're going to give them a little bit more of this history, man. This J area, this Frisco, this Tim Bennis, man. This real Richmond, you understand me? EPA, you understand me? Northern California at its best. Do you hear me, big baby? You know I was coming back, man. You understand me? We got a, a whole new fresh, you understand me? Perspective on things, man. You see us in the background, right? Hating is a weakness, man. Don't be a hater, man. Be a congratulator. Whatever you do. Do you hear me, big baby? Y'all know I got to get right, big baby. Do you hear me, man? Yeah, man. Be back at it. But today's podcast, man, you know what we're going to do for y'all, man? Black motherfucking Saturday, big baby. Do you hear me? You had to be there. You had to be from the era, from the generations. Know what I'm talking about when I say Black Saturday. I ain't talking about no discount shopping. Do you hear me, big baby? I'm talking about that epic event that used to happen every weekend when you was a young teen, man. When we was young whippersnappers, man. Yes, then we wasn't old enough to go to the club yet, but we was trying to get out and get active, man. And Black Saturday is where we used to go, man. So let me tell y'all, man. Um... So, oh, 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 wait a minute. Let me get to the business at hand, man. Today's podcast is sponsored by Drum Machine Marketing. Do you hear me? Uh, 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 Kirkwood Kitchens and Baths, man. You understand me? And Kirkwood Printing Company, man. You understand me? You see me, you know what I mean? Shout out to Kirkwood Printing Company, man. You understand me? We around here, man. They got us off. They got us, you understand me? Ooh, ooh, you see that hating is a weakness back there. Yeah, they put us in business, man. Go up on Instagram and look them up, man. Kirkwood Printing Company, man. Uh, drum machine marketing and Kirkwood kitchens and baths, man. You trying to get your counters together, your flows, man. What you need, water heaters, what you need, man. Holla at them. Go on Instagram, look up Kirkwood kitchens and baths, man. Kirkwood printing company. They got me right, man. That Pac, man. You understand me? They got the banner for us, man. They do good work, man. Good business, man. Shout out to them, man. And drum machine marketing. Go on Instagram and look them up, man. That's today's sponsors, man. We in this together, man. We're going to shine regardless. Do you hear me, big baby? We're going to bring this shit together like Black Wall Street, man. Do you hear me, big baby? Shout out to the family, man. Shout out to the big homie, man, for looking out for us and getting us right, man. You understand me for the 2020, big baby? <laughs> Do you hear me? But anyway, man, Black Sajers, eh? as my boy Mangler would call it, man. That was some of the most epic shit of our time, big baby. Do you hear me? Um... Before we could go to Jeffries and uh, Mingos and uh, Echelons and all that shit, man, we had Black Sat. Let me get around the gray. We had Black Saturday, big baby. It was one of the most epic things that you understand me. We used to encounter as justice, man. Um, before you had your twenty one ID, man, you had your little old suit game together. Yeah, you, 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 you stem your slip ons, man. You didn't have all that, man. You just had ten, you was tennis shoe pimping. You feel me? This back when we was coming straight off the block, man, trying to shake our shoulders. You know what I mean? Trying to make something happen. Do you hear me, big baby? You didn't need no ID. So Black Saturday was like a, a, a ongoing party event, man. That this dude out of the town, man. I want to say his name was Gene, man. Somebody, if somebody else know his name, if it was something different, y'all could come on here and correct me. But I want to say their brother's name is Gene. I think he passed away. Rest in peace to that dude. You know what I mean? But uh, so my first encounter with Black Saturday, my boy Keon Bishop. They had something on Brotherhood Way. Now, this is not the Brotherhood Way one that everybody's going to think about, the one where it got crazy and it was like the OK Corral. I'm going to get to that one. This is not that one. This first one was on Brotherhood Way in like a church parking lot. It was outside, you know what I mean? And my boy Keon Bishop said, man, where you was at yesterday, one? I'm like, what you mean? Man, they had a party over there out in the parking lot. It was just everywhere from every city. It was cracking. They had the music, man. Whoop, and he hit me with it. So I'm like, damn, I missed that. What was that? You feel me? So he had put me on to it and had me hyped about it. You feel me? This before, way back when it first started, when everybody really didn't know about it. Do you hear me, big baby? So... My boy Keith tell me about it, so I'm like, damn, I don't know how I missed that, man. You know, I'm always, you understand me, in it to win it, man, trying to, you understand me, do my thing. You hear me, big baby? But anyway, man, you understand me? So, um, how it would work was Black Saturday, this dude would have it at all different locations, man. He'd be all around the Bay Area, you feel me? But before it got popular and you start to venture out and go to different locations, you probably is heard about it or went to it in your city in the town you feel me in uh, uh epa you understand me in uh richmond or somewhere close to your town you feel me wherever he could find a venue to do this shit man so some of the first ones that i went to myself was over there at the little hall by balboa man 
That thing used to go crazy. Do you hear me, big baby? You understand me? They'd be like, man, they're having that little function over there at uh by Bow, man. It's the Black Saturday joint, man. We'd be like, what is Black? We didn't even know what Black Saturday was. You feel me? So we slide from the turf, man. We go over here, man. You understand me? Hop up in buckets because back then, you know what I mean? We wasn't doing too much, but we was doing... Doing our thing, big baby. We was young whippersnappers, man. You feel me? So we slide over here by bow, man. That thing is packed from wall to wall, big baby. Do you hear me? And when you step up in that thing, it's smelling like fried bologna, big baby. You understand me? Because we up in there, they going crazy. You understand me? The boppers is in there. They up in there damn near humping. You understand me? We up in here, just imagine it's youngsters, man. So it ain't like, you understand me, a grown-up club. It's damn near like a, 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 a teeny bopper club, a teeny bopper club for, for youngsters, man. So them little young things up in there, boy, they mamas done let them loose. They done got the Black Saturday up in there. Pussy, uh, pussy popping on a handstand, man. You understand me? They sweating their little weaves out. You understand me? Their little ponytails is all over the place, hair everywhere. You know what I mean? It's smelling like somebody making sandwiches in that thing. Do you hear me, big baby? But it's so thick up in there. You feel me? It's going crazy. So you step up in the joint, man. You seeing all the little things from every turf around your city, around your region. It's just going straight ham and potatoes, big baby. So you know a little young fresh yes, stand me, young thug, man. Yes, stand me. We in there with the gang. You feel me? And the thing about Black Saturday is it ain't 21 and over. You feel me? So every so it's, it, it's a gang of us. Everybody who don't like to put on shirts and don't like to dress up or 821 is in that thing. So when we step up in that joint, man, yes, then it might be 15 of us, 20 of us, and then it's already 20 more of your turf partners up in there. So when you get up in that thing, you feeling yourself. You know what I mean? You're poking your chest out. You got the turf with you, yes, then me. Y'all might have something in the car if you really with the shit like we was, yes, then me. Got to stay with something. And these locations will usually be close to somebody's turf, somebody's hood. You feel me? So the, uh, the one over there by Bow, I mean, that's close to the lake. You feel me? The next time would probably be the swamp or something. You know what I mean? So, you know, we used to be up in that thing. Thick, you feel me? So you step up in that thing, you seeing all the whole turf up in there, you high-fiving, you understand me, feeling yourself, you understand me, you're poking your chest out, man, you know what I mean? You want the little things to see you, you feel me? We coded and loaded up in that thing, big baby. When I say that, I mean the code, 6823, man, Jabos and Jays, everybody know the Lakeview, you understand me, moniker, man, the code game, man, we used to be up in that thing so thick, you feel me? And another ill part about Black Saturday is... Since it wasn't no dress code, since it'd be close to the turf, whatever turf is close to, usually that's going to be the people who are deepest in there, you feel me? But also, you're going to have people who don't venture out the turf, they're going to be at that, you know what I'm saying? So, if you close to Betrayal Hill, you're going to see some Betrayal Hill niggas who you never see out of Betrayal Hill, you feel me? They just straight block monsters, if you... When you see these dudes, they're only on their turf, you feel me? If it's close to the VGs, you're going to see some of the grimy VGs, niggas, that don't never be out of the VGs. You're going to be like, damn, I ain't never seen bro out the VGs or out Patrill Hill or some Lakeview niggas that you never knew existed because they don't leave Lakeview. Do you hear what I'm talking about, big baby? So you up in that thing, man, you still, you got the grimy individuals up in there. Niggas is fresh off the turf, you feel me? Nigga might have a sack in his buns or something, you feel me? Nigga might have some booty rocks up in that thing, but it's all good, man. You them, you got them predators up in there. They see these little young things dressed up in these short skirts, man. You see your homies up in there like, damn, bro, I ain't, I ain't never seen you dance. You, you can dance? Damn, okay, I see you, you understand me? So we'll be up in that thing going crazy, man. You understand me? So uh, yeah, I'm going to say Bow Bull over there by Bow. That was one of the first locations that I went to, you feel me? And that was one of the recurring locations. It used to crack in that thing. It was just big enough, you understand me? They hit them lights, man, to be intimate. They got the picture booth going up in there. You up in there throwing gang signs, you understand me? Ran up like you, wherever you from, you up in that thing. And then you seen your partners from the other turfs, man, you know what I'm talking about? But what Gene didn't know, you know what I mean? He's from the town. So you got Frisco niggas up in there who beefing with each other. You got, uh, when you go to the Oakland ones, you got Oakland niggas who up in there beefing with each other. But it'll be so overwhelming with the certain cities that you couldn't even trip off the beef that you had with somebody from another turf because you got Oakland niggas up in here. You got Richmond niggas up in here. You got Vallejo niggas up in that joint. You understand me? EPA, you understand me? So you then got to hold your own with them. So it's like, 
It's down there on some penitentiary shit. This is a Frisco car. This is an Oakland car. You feel me? It's just like that. It's so thick up in that joint. You feel me? Um, and they used to just crack. I want to say some of the epic locations that I went to. We went to one in Walnut Creek or somewhere. It was so far up in the cuts. You had to go up a hill. It was so far in the cuts to where I was about to turn around. Like, bro, this couldn't be where it was at. You feel me? I know this is not where it's at because this is too far in the cut. And the dude, Gene, was so sick. He is renting out these little spots telling him he going to throw a birthday party. Uh, he would call a, a, a bar mitzvah hall or something and be like, yeah, man, I'm throwing a little something for my sister. A little intimate gathering. You understand me? Maybe about 10, 15 people, 15, 20 people. Nigga, that nigga have a thousand young niggas up in that thing going ham. You feel me? Tearing up these venues. You dig? That nigga was working him a cold skin at $10 a pop. That nigga was rocking. Do you hear me, big baby? So um, one day we didn't uh, went and the homie got a little female. You understand me? She got a little bucket. We didn't went, gave her a few dollars to use her bucket. I think we didn't got a ride all the way to Oakland just to get her bucket, just so we could go all the way to Walnut Creek. You feel me? So we get up in the joint. And this little spot is like a little, it's like a loud bar or something, but you know, you can't drink because it's underage. But you had to walk down, it was like up, it was a parking lot, and you had to go in and go down some stairs to get where the shit was at, right? So this motherfucker was cracking so crazy up in this joint, and just so happened, this night it happened to be raining, you feel me? Now, the Oakland niggas was in this thing going ham. They was deep up in this joint, you feel me? <clears throat> Frisco, it was only a few of us there. We could, the niggas wouldn't make it all the way out there. So we was kind of out never, but you know, we go to everyone, me and my partners, man, you understand me? So um, it was raining. I remember uh, coming up out that thing, nigga. It was an Oakland nigga. That nigga had, must have had gold from here to here and here to here. That nigga mouth was like a goddamn me uh, Brinks truck, man. And he's going ham, dark ass nigga at the top of the stair. East Oakland, nigga. He going ham. He's flexing his muscle, man. He's in niggas' faces and shit, you understand me? So as we coming up the stairs, I see the nigga. He's going ham. I'm thinking to myself. Damn, this nigga going crazy, man. But he can't be doing that in my face. You understand me? So as we walking up the stairs, I'm already on him. Like, you know what I mean? Peeping his, his stilo, people, how he going ham or whatever. Now, one of my partners from the point happened to be going up the stairs. He's not paying attention. You feel me? He's in his moment. You feel me? He, you see me hollering at the females. He's doing his player thing, man. And the nigga, you understand me, must have bumped him with some of my nigga. Man, what you doing? And that nigga must have pushed this nigga down the stairs. My nigga almost fell down the stairs. I said, damn, he did him like that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, man, this nigga just played my nigga out here. But he was so outnumbered. It was just like. He could have put up a fight and ended up getting fucked up. You understand me? But he took the L like he was supposed to, man. You understand me? And kind of, you know what I mean? He didn't fall down the stairs too hard, man. But he, you understand me? Got, got, you understand me? He, he played him out a little bit. You understand me? But my nigga ain't no sucker, man. I would never throw his name out there. You understand me? But I'm just telling y'all what I remembered about the situation, right? So we, like I said, it's raining outside. So we go in the parking lot, man. You understand me? We parking lot empty. You understand me? Uh, we hop in the bucket, man, roll up something, we smoking, man, you know what I mean? Now, my partner Z.A.B. was next to us in the car, I didn't even see him in the party, it was so crazy. I say, Z.A.B., what you doing, boy? He said, man, we in this thing, bruh. I say, okay, so we just watching the festivities, right? The town niggas, man, they going so ham, right? I remember these niggas was in an expedition. Now, listen to me now, an expedition truck, right? And I told you it was raining, right? These niggas starts a sideshow in the parking lot. This niggas is swinging the expedition, big baby. You feel me? The nigga got his passenger got his foot out the window as this nigga swinging this big ass expedition, sliding it all throughout the parking lot, man. And then he starts busting in the air just to let him know the town is in the building. Bop, 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 bop. For leisure, you feel me? Me and my nigga in the bucket looking like, boy, these niggas is acting a donkey tonight. Do you hear me? These niggas are swinging donuts and shooting in the air. You stand me in the rain. About to tip the expedition over his. That thing going so crazy. We like, damn, these niggas is acting a fool in this joint tonight. Do you hear me, big baby? So we watch the festivities, man. You understand me? Get a few phone numbers, man. We slide up out that joint, man. You know what I mean? But that was when the... Uh, this, and then, this is before the hyphy movement and all that shit. So, 
I tell niggas always to be like, like, why? Like, why? That was their favorite line. You hear me? So, me and my brother, me and me and Fetty Eddie, we called them niggas the what waters. You understand me? We didn't call them the hyphy movement. The Oakland niggas, we'd be like, the what waters is in the building tonight, nigga. They showing out. You feel me? The what waters. You know what I'm talking about? Them niggas was so arrogant and so ornery. You feel me? And... This is probably the first time that Frisco niggas and Oakland niggas got to interact uh, intimately to see, you know, the differences in, in, in Oakland and in Frisco. So, nigga, we might be up in that thing dressed up to a T. My Oakland niggas will be fresh off the turf, nigga. You understand me? Fresh off the grind. Nigga, them niggas got hoodies on and shit. They're not, you know what I mean? But they got money. I remember them niggas be at the picture booth, nigga, with nigga 10, 15,000 on them. Loafed up, nigga. East Oakland. That's how they in their pictures. We over there, you understand? Know, we probably got about a band on us, you understand know, me? Seven, eight, honey, the something, you know what I mean? These niggas got a whole, you understand know, me, wide on them, nigga. Looking like they don't give a fuck, nigga. They rolled up in this joint, nigga, but they got pockets full of money and probably got candy sitting outside. You know what I'm talking about, though? Them Oakland niggas was not playing, man, you know what I mean? And that's how, that's when a nigga really got to, you know, see niggas steal on, see the difference between. How a, a Frisco nigga might have some mild mental player conversation, and my Oakland niggas was just, yes, you know, me, straight up arrogant, man, all in your face with it. Nigga walk up and let me hit that weed, my nigga. He's Oakland. Nigga be like, you know, Frisco niggas, we ain't, nigga don't know you. Nigga don't really fuck like that. Nigga be like, what can you hit my nigga? What? My nigga, I don't know you, my nigga. You feel me? We was on some shit like that. Oakland niggas have no shame in that game. Nigga, they coming. You understand me? Letting it be known what they're here for. How they rocking. What's up, nigga? You understand me? They loud. They nigga. What is it? Dreads all in your face. This before Frisco niggas. Frisco niggas didn't have. We had dreads, right? But this is when if you had dreads in Frisco, you was a roster. You know what I mean? Some of my Patrol Hill niggas or some. You know what I mean? Few niggas with on they Rastafari and shit, you know what I mean? But not when nigga, you know, now nigga, uh, nigga have dreads with tips on it anywhere in the Bay Area. This is when it was just exclusively Oakland, you dig? You know, talking about them town niggas, they started that shit, you know what I mean? Anybody who say different, they lying. Do you hear me, big baby? So yeah, that Walnut Creek one, that was one of them ones, you feel me? Now, this nigga will have these events. At any location that he could book for the weekend, you feel me? So, nigga, over the years, nigga, I done been to Black Saturdays, nigga, in any place you could think of. I remember one of them, the nigga had it at a motherfucking um, shooting range. It was close to Richmond somewhere. Either Richmond somewhere out there in the cuts, you feel me? Once you get up in there and you look outside and kind of people, you're like... Yeah, this nigga got this shit out of shooting range. This nigga's a motherfucking fool about his paper. The nigga Gene, I remember the nigga name if I'm mistaken. Nigga was at a shooting range. And this is when it had start to pick up. So now it wasn't just his regular niggas out there, you know what I mean, checking niggas. That nigga had real security. Them niggas was out there strapped. Because them niggas, uh, niggas would be ready to whoop the security ass, nigga. Niggas out there acting a donkey. And they want to hear all that, you ain't letting nobody in, all that shit, nigga. So that nigga had armed security, man, you know what I mean? Them Oakland niggas out there, nigga, if he take off, we take Take off, nigga, Oakland, you understand me? I remember them niggas had to draw down that night at the shooting range, man, to back them town niggas up, man. Do you hear me, big baby? It was going down, you feel me? So um, after this shit started to evolve and got bigger, you feel me, the nigga had set up a hotline. Anybody who know about this Black Saturday shit I'm talking about, some of y'all didn't get onto the hotline, but it was it was cracking way before the hotline. The hotline came later, you feel me? But after the shit started picking the momentum and it started cracking, nigga call that little hotline, man. Nigga be like, bro, who got the number? Anybody got the number? Nigga be there, <clears throat> called around town, nigga across town, being the page and people beeping people. Bro, you got the Black Saturday number? You got the Black Saturday number? Nigga to call it in. Hey, good evening. You understand me? This is December 22nd. Uh, tonight, the uh, Black Saturday will be held in the city of Modesto. In the city of fucking Fresno, in the city of Sacramento, you feel me? The address will be woo 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 woo. He put this shit up, nigga. Every Saturday, man, nigga be hitting up. Brett, did you hit the number? Where's that tonight, man? It's over there by Patrol Hill, man. You know, it's the oh, we on, nigga. Niggas get to piling up, figure out a meeting spot, man. You understand me? And we is in that thing, big baby. You feel me? Um, I done been the one at a church, nigga, in Oakland, man. That nigga did rent it out to church, man. They got niggas up in there, man, you understand me? Scared to fire up their weed, man. They don't want to disrespect the Lord, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? Nah, baby, back up off me, man. We can't be doing this up in here tonight. You, you, you hold it, baby. This is just out of line, you understand me? Niggas up in there holding their weed all night. Like, nigga, 
Bro, you wanna hit the nah, bro? I don't wanna hit that nigga. We is in the church, man. This nigga got us in the church. I remember that night. We had to get up out of there. So it also started to be a recurring thing where Frisco and Oakland would get into it. Like some niggas was just coming here to 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 get nigga back from the last location. Okay, we was in Oakland last week. The Oakland niggas got the mopping niggas. It's, oh, we in Frisco this week, big baby. You understand me? So now you understand me. Nigga, niggas is mopping the Oakland niggas, man. And it got to be a thing to where some niggas was only coming in to to partic participate in that part of it. Do you hear me, big baby? Damn, you niggas ain't coming for these little females. You understand me? I'm trying to knock me some out of Richmond, out of uh, San Leandro or something, man. You understand me? Some whole, you know, what I mean, cross the water work, man. You know what I'm talking about? Or 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 or, the, or little baby, you know what I mean, from across the town from another turf that you don't get to see. You understand me? You just slid up on her, man. And and it's dark. It'd be pitch black in that thing. You can't even see in front of your hands. They got it dark up in that drink, man. So you'd be up in there, man, to see baby, you understand me? Yeah, what's up, man? She'd have slid that thing on you, man. Yeah, uh, uh, you feel me? And I remember, uh, oh, nigga, when Bia Bia came on, why you acting Bia Bia? That shit, you should then start a riot every single time, big baby. Do you hear me? Anybody who was in that Black Saturday, man, when that uh, Lil John uh, and the East Side Boys came on, niggas get to bouncing around, niggas then they finna fight every time that shit came on, you feel me? That was just one of them songs that'll set it off in that joint, you know what I'm talking about? Having niggas just really up in there, stupid amp, man, that thing used to go crazy. Be a be a, why you acting like a... Why you be a be a yeah, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? Nigga had his little drink, you know what I mean? Niggas, well, that's when niggas had hairlines and shit. You feel me? A lot of us, yes, Tim, you wouldn't believe us if we told you we had hair now. You yes, still nigga like, you had hair? Yeah, nigga. I used to swing my drink, all this shit, big baby. You know what I'm talking about? Nigga wouldn't believe, you feel me? Um, so I'm the type of motherfucker, right? I got partners from every turf in Frisco. Some niggas is segregated. Some niggas never got out the turf or they got beef with this turf. I got partners that love me from every set in, in, in Frisco. Hunters Point, Valencia Gardens, Filmo, uh, 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 Hunters Point, you know what I'm talking about? North Beach, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. It's some niggas from East Turf and Frisco that's going to say, man, the voice, Wheezy? Oh, that's my guy right there. You feel me? So, um, you know, we'll be up in them things thick. You feel me? And as we up in there, you know what I'm saying? I used to be paying attention because them things used to go, it, it'd get funky up in that motherfucker, you feel me? So all of that, being too loose and not paying attention, fuck around and get cracked upside the head with something, fuck around and get your jaw broke up in there playing too much, you hear me? So I guess the Oakland niggas had, see, had seen me, you understand me, and a lot of niggas behind me from East Turf or see niggas coming up to me, saluting me, giving me five or whatever, you feel me? So one time when we in Frisco, Oakland niggas coming to me like, hey, hey, bruh. What's good with you? I'm, I'm I'm on my shit. What's up, my nigga? You know what I mean? What's, what's good? I'm thinking, you know what I mean? I got to get stimmy. Might have to take off. You feel me? But I guess they had seen me interacting with a lot of the different Frisco niggas who be getting active. So I guess they like, um, you know, what's up with, uh, like, letting me know, like, bro, I'm not, I'm not with the, uh, we not with them other Oakland niggas that y'all be getting into it with at the other events, my nigga, like, we not with them, like, we not a part of that, bro, so I'm like, hold up, my nigga, I understand where you coming from, but I hope you don't think, I'm the spokesman for Frisco, nigga, I can't control these niggas, I can't even control late, you niggas, I for sure can't control these niggas from these other turfs and shit, so just like y'all ain't necessarily with the mother Oakland niggas or the spokesman for them, I'm not the spokesman for these Frisco niggas that be fighting every week either, bro, you know what I mean? I ain't got no problem with y'all, my nigga, I'm here like y'all here trying to knock me something, man, I'm trying to, you feel me, get something to the crib, and I tell a lot of my nieces and nephews, you understand me, my, that, that, that is here, a lot of y'all is products of Black Saturday, your parents met at Black Saturday, you understand me, they hooked up at the Black Saturday, a lot of y'all is Black Saturday babies, do you hear me, you know what I'm talking about, big baby, but yeah, man, you understand me? So, tell niggas they come to me. I guess they feel like I'm a Frisco spokesperson. I'm up in that motherfucker with my shirt off and you understand me doing me. And that's when them things was running rampant, man. Red LVs, blue dolphins, orange tulips. You know what I'm talking about? Woo, wee, nigga. Nigga be like that up in that joint. You feel me? 16, 17, 18. Beams on, big baby. 19, 20. You know what I'm talking about? We up in that thing lit, man. High as a giraffe's ass. Do you hear me, big baby? So we confrontational. We with all the extra shit that you could think of. You hear me, big baby? So it was like, it was really cracking. You feel me? It was really, you understand me? A butter law up in that joint, man. You feel me? So, um, 
Another uh, another cracking one was they had in uh, Macramento. You feel me? They threw one in Sacramento one time. We slid all the way to Sac to go fuck with this shit. And they had a surprise guest this year. You feel me? So we goes to Sacramento, slides out, man. You understand me? I got uh, my nigga Roser up in there with me. Uh, my my little cousins from Q Street. You feel me? So we up in there, niggas. This event, we done snuck the thing up in there, right? So niggas get into it with the town, niggas, of course, you feel me? Um, but before niggas get into it, nigga, they bring out the surprise guest, man. It's Keek the Sneak, big baby, Keek the. You know what I mean? Keek to go up in there, T-shirt, white boot, jeans, and Nikes. He had us cracking in that thing, man. Keek come out and shocked the crowd. This thing was like the Sacramento uh, Amphitheater or the one of them, and this was a big venue, you feel me? That nigga Gene was getting his money out of that shit. So we go up in there, man, that thing cracking. They bring kick out, you feel me? But it never fails. We get into it with the Oakland niggas, you understand me? We done had to pull the cannon out some more shit just to get up out that thing. So we get outside, right? Oakland niggas got like a wall of them niggas. They going crazy. They got... Uh, Acting a donkey, they talking to somebody, they, you understand me, got their frustration, they aiming, they, you understand me, they talking crazy to somebody, so, you understand me, we getting in the car, you know what I'm talking about, and I'm like, damn, these niggas is tripping, man, who these niggas tripping on, man, I look behind us, but ain't nobody behind us, I said, oh, they on us, fucking around with my nephews from the queue and shit, you know, these young niggas is wild, man, you understand me, they getting into it with shit, so these niggas see us, they on it, man, they then they're like, they ain't finna let us leave, you feel me? So I got my partners in the car, man. Anybody know me, man, you understand me? I like to keep something with me, man, you understand me? Just in case things get hectic, man, you hear me, big baby? You understand me? I stay with something, you understand me? ladder, though, big baby, do you hear me? So, you understand me? I pop to Tuck Spot, man, you understand me? Pulls out G-Man stand, man, you understand me? That glick, you understand me, with that stick. Do you hear me, you understand me, for crowd control? Do you hear me, big baby? My partner's like, that. Where that came from? What, what do you mean where it came from, big baby? You know, I stayed with it. We ain't go play with it, big baby. So I come up on the tech spot, man, put that apparatus together, you understand me? And kind of, you understand me? Jump out the whip, man. Yeah, what's up, man? You understand me? The crowd back up. Niggas looking like, oh, shit, this nigga got something with him. So I back the crowd up a little bit so we can get up in the car a little bit more comfortable, man. You understand me? And slide up out that Johnson, man. You understand me? And I'm going to go on and get the safety, big baby. We had to get up out of there, man. But yeah. That thing was cracking, man. So, um, let me see. Uh, oh, that thing, and the shit was so crazy, right? Because the niggas was getting killed that Black Saturday. And I ain't talking about, uh, I ain't saying this in a, a figurative manner. I'm talking about literally. People was dying that Black Saturday, you feel me? To the point where it was so crazy. A nigga get killed, and this nigga throw that shit the following weekend. Like, he wouldn't even let shit die down. He wouldn't let shit come down. Nigga be that got killed, and this nigga, um... He's throwing something the next motherfucking, uh, he's throwing something the next motherfucking weekend. Like, God damn, bro, you ain't, you ain't even gonna let this shit chill a little bit. You just gonna, you know what I mean? Somebody died, nigga. Somebody that got beat to death, shot to death, ran over my nigga. And you just keep it going. He don't give a fuck. It was so sick to where they had the nigga Gene picture in the newspaper. Talking about party promoter, throws these parties, people are getting killed, nigga. I want to say like maybe seven or eight individuals lost their life fucking with that Black Saturday shit, bro. It was that serious, you feel me? It was really that hectic, you feel me? And it was like, not only was it turf beefs, because this nigga's throwing shit and niggas within their city is getting into it, but now it's creating city beefs, you feel me? So the Vallejo and the Richmond niggas might get into Oakland and Frisco, uh, 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 Vallejo EPA, you know what I mean? It's just... It's tension, it's thick, and, and it's recurring because you got niggas who are regulars and niggas is getting into it down there every single weekend and going to get niggas back, you feel me, from the following weekends, you feel me? So, um, I want to say the pinnacle of this shit was the thong concert, the thong, the thong contest, and this one was at Brotherhood Way. Remember how in the beginning of the podcast I told you that the first one I ever heard of was on Brotherhood Way and it was outdoor. This one was Brotherhood Way, but it was indoor, you feel me? And I want to say I had been to this venue once before for Black Saturday, but this particular time, it was Turf Mania. And it was Frisco niggas from everywhere, and it was the niggas who with the shit. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about Black Saturday, since niggas didn't have to wear no dress code, the security was kind of lenient, you feel me? Niggas who wouldn't go to no club or wouldn't be caught dead, you understand me, in a real venue, 
them niggas used to be at these events, my nigga. So it'd be niggas who are shooters, who is the niggas who is heavily intensified in the beef, would be in these things. And if you ain't from the city, if you ain't from where it goes down at, you won't know that this is this, these niggas and these niggas, and it's 30 of them from each turf, and they both in this small-ass venue, nigga, and the tension, you could cut it with a butter knife. You know what I'm talking about? This shit is thick, nigga. It, it, it could go down any minute. This shit could erupt. So this particular night, Brotherhood Way, nigga, it was cracking because they had a thong contest. You feel me? And this one, Cisco Thong song was on. So niggas was looking forward to this. You know what I mean? You know, young niggas, man, up them pills and shit. Niggas was like a thong contest. We are there, big baby. So I remember me and bruh, bruh, we up in that joint. You know what I'm talking about? We up in there, you feel me? It's thick. I see the turfs up in there. I see the tension. So I tells bro, like, man, listen, man, we going to get up out of here a little early, bro. We're not going to wait till they turn the lights on, man. You know how it go up in these things. Once they hit them lights, nigga, that's when this shit usually crack, you feel me? So we slides up out the joint, man, go get in the, uh, we had a red beretta at the time. Everybody know, the, my potters remember the red beretta, man, that stick thing, man. So we go get up in the beretta or whatever, you feel me? We sitting in the car, we smoking, my nigga Bub is up in that thing, you feel me? He sees us and jumps in the car with us, you feel me? So we sit in the car, we smoking, chilling, wait for the shit to let out so we can knock something, man, so we get, you know, nigga get trampled up in that joint, you up in there when that shit break out. So I just remember it was a back door to the event and they had chains on the motherfucker, but it, it, it was open a little bit to the point where niggas was trying to climb through the space at the top of the doors to get in. Now, it's crazy now that I think about it because the nigga only was charging like $10, $20 to get in there. And these niggas, niggas is from the turf selling crack all day long. And niggas is trying to sneak in the back door, you feel me? So, these niggas is trying to climb through the space at the top of the doors because the chain is it's open. It's like pushing, but it's not open. So, it's a space at the top. These niggas is really trying to climb through this space right here to the point where... It's so much pressure from them trying to climb through there that the doors pop, pop the chain and it comes open. So, nigga, it's about 10, 15 motherfuckers. They done ran in the door right quick before security is able to come and and secure the doors. You feel me? So, we sitting there in the parking lot. We looking and I see them. I'm like, look at these niggas, man. They climbed through the top of the door. Broke the shit. These niggas going in. You feel me? So, these niggas done broken the door, man. You understand me? They feeling like they up in the club. You feel me? But what they not knowing is, right? I just told you it's tension like a butter knife, man. That's why we was outside. So I want to say, nigga, five minutes after they broke into the motherfucking thing to get into this Black Saturday, into this Brotherhood Way thing, a stampede of people come running back out them same doors. It's a, a fucking gunfight in that thing. Bop, 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 bop. Boop, 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 boop. You hear all type of weaponry going up. I said, oh, it's going. Bro, cr nigga, get us up out of here. Nigga, it's going down. So this nigga cranks the car up. People are trying to get out of that thing so bad and running up out that joint so crazy. They are running into the car. Like, shake, boom, boom, falling into the quarter panel. Boom, boom, knocking the car, shaking the car. It's like a stampede of cattle is actually coming up out that thing to where they rocking the whole car. Like, they trying to get up out that joint. We so, you understand me? We so shook. I'm like, bruh. Get us out of here, nigga. I'm I'm hearing this. It's gunshots. It's sounding like the 4th of July. It is fireworks right now. You dig what I'm talking about? So this nigga cranks up the car, pulls out the parking lot. Now, anybody who knows Brotherhood Way, right? Brotherhood Way is usually where a lot of niggas go to race cars. Lakeview niggas specifically, but people who know about racing in, in Frisco, Brotherhood Way is a long strip, and there's usually no police down there. So... It's two, but it's two sides of the street. One side comes up, the other side has an island, and the other side goes down. Where the where the event is, traffic goes up. My brother pulls out the parking lot and turns down. We going down a one way four lane highway, which is Brotherhood Way, the wrong way, trying to get away from them gunshots. You feel me, nigga? Just slid down the hill. Was we dodging cars, cars about to run over us, they hitting the horns, man. I'm like, bro, what is you doing? He like, man, we got to get up out of here, big baby. We done slid, you know what I'm talking about? We come back, nigga, it's ambulance and empty vehicles everywhere. Doors open, 
People laid out in the street. It was nothing but chaos. Do you hear me, big baby? That thing went ham. And it was the crazy part. It was it was down there right when they was doing the throne contest. Man, that thing went haywire. You feel me? And that is when the dude started getting bad publicity. And they ran that article about him and how these parties were starting turf wars. And how people was getting killed, shot, assaulted. You understand me? At these different events. And they ran that article him of him in the newspaper. If you look it up, Black Saturday event or a party promoter, um, they was looking for that nigga. They had his picture in the newspaper trying to catch up with that dude about these events he was throwing, acting like they was uh, his niece's birthday parties and shit like that. And it was going crazy. Um, that was a crazy time. The Black Saturdays, they was epic, man. We had a lot of fun, man. But I can say that shit started a lot of beef. Like, a lot of turf wars, you feel me? Um, rest in peace, big drama, you feel me? We lost big drama because of a, a petty-ass beef at Black Saturday. Man, I ain't going to get all into that. But, you know what I mean? The crazy part about it is drama was, like, we was 21 now. Me and my partners of my age group. So his thing was, man, why are y'all still going to that? And we can go to the real club now. But we didn't want to put on slacks and, and button-ups, you feel me? But... I just remember him being up in that thing and being like, man, just shaking his head the whole time. Like, just teeny bopper ass shit. Like, you niggas, really? But he loved us so much that he was going to go where we went and we was going to stick together, even though he was ready to hit some real shit. You feel me? He was just like, man, like, y'all grown now. Like, we could do some grown shit. Like, why y'all still coming here? You feel me? And I, I really think about that now that, that we older and that he been going all these years. Like, damn, if we would have fuck with drama and went to a grown-up club or went somewhere else, maybe that shit wouldn't have happened, you feel me? But, you know, life life, life happens how it does, you dig? But that was some epic times, man. That Black Saturday shit, it was a beautiful time in all our lives, you feel me? I know that uh, a lot of people going to remember the different locations they used to have it, the avenues over there by Patrill Hill, across from General, by Bow, you feel me? The shooting range, the church in Oakland, the Sacramento one, um... Man, it was just so many spots he used to have that shit at, and it used to go crazy. It was just, it was just one of those things that made you know what I mean. It was a nostalgic moment, and as a city, you know, a lot of times we had to come together and stick together because we'd be outnumbered by them town niggas or them Richmond niggas or whatever. You feel me? So even though when we was in the city it was like regular beef shit between turfs, when we was out the city, niggas kind of had to stick together on some. Penitentiary shit, like nigga, hold on, we Frisco man, and these niggas is kicking Frisco niggas ass when they get us catch a slipper. So niggas might want to stick together, you feel me? And just seeing niggas who didn't get off their turfs, get out and party and have a good time and smile, you feel me? And to know that a lot of the relationships that have manifested today in the marriages and got kids, man, that shit started back in Black Saturday, man. I remember your mom and your daddy used to be arguing that Black Saturday back in the days. Do you hear me, big baby? And now yesterday they got kids in high school who, if they had that today, they kids would be going to that. You dig what I'm talking about? Shit crazy how it comes for a circle, man. But yeah, this is You Wasn't There podcast. You understand me? Volume 7, man. And if you ain't never went to them Black Saturdays back in the days, ain't never went to one of them locations. If you wasn't that brotherhood way when the shit jumped off, man. If you wasn't in uh, Sacramento when Keith came out and performed. If you ain't never been and caught that hotline and got that Black Saturday location, big baby, you wasn't there. Do you hear me? K.I., man. Come on, man. Hating is a weakness, man. Rock with us, man. You understand me? You wasn't there to podcast, man. We around this thing. We're going to keep them coming, man. Happy 2020. Happy New Year's, man. You understand me? Keep a list. Stay safe. Stay motivated, man. You understand me? We're going to keep hitting y'all with this content, man. And keep y'all, you understand me, in the nostalgic moments of giving y'all this Bay Area history. Do you hear me, big baby? K.I., it's your favorite family member. Voice of the people.